in evolutionary time, some four billion years, when uh, the first microbes developed in the vast oceans of the world, of planet Earth. Um, the microbes had about several billion years time to develop and perfect a system of, communica of communicating with each other through molecules, these information molecules. And what we know today is that many of these molecules are almost identical in their structure to the same molecules our brain uses as neurotransmitters or that our gut uses to signal to the brain. So we share a biological language. It comes from the microbes that develop it first and then during evolution transferred the blueprints of these molecules to our own nervous systems. So does this have an impact or does this have any implications for our human behavior? If we manipulate the gut microbes, for example, by the ingestion of a probiotic over four weeks in healthy people, we can change the response, the responsiveness of circuits in the brain that have to do with emotion recognition or emotional regulation. How big an influence will this have on, for example, on our understanding of psychiatric disease or on the treatment of diseases like anxiety, depression or autism, we still don't know. However, it's opened up a um, completely new revolutionary way of looking at the treatment of psychiatric, of common psychiatric diseases.